Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Patrick. Uh, this video is the third video of the uh, PHP basic series. Today I'm going to talk about um, edit editor that you can use to develop PHP. Of course, I, I will introduce only three editors and I will use one of them as my default uh, text editor in this um, uh, lessons series. So uh, let's jump into it. Okay, uh, let me switch uh, to Windows. Okay, the first one will be uh, Visual Studio Code. So this is an editor by Microsoft. Okay, it's an open source uh, editor and uh, it's very powerful uh, code editor. All right, although I didn't use it, but uh, it's very powerful. I, I, I have tried it before, but I kind of don't like the, uh, uh, the way that it, it is programmed. Okay, <laughs> okay, this is the first one. All right, so you can download any of the three editors that I, I will introduce to you. Okay, all right, so you have to uh, be sure that which one, which editor you are going to uh, use. So I will use one of it. Okay, uh, second one is Atom. Okay, this is an open source. Uh, text editor all right so it's uh, simple it's very light okay it's very light and it has all the features that you require okay as well as the uh, visual studio code it has a lot of advanced features that uh, any programmers wants all right so it has a windows version over here you can download it over here okay so you can start installing it. Okay, the third one is Sublime Text. Uh, this is the one that I'm using. It is a shareware uh, program. All right. So, but it will not stop you from using even after the period ended. So it will, but you will have uh, some uh, next screen. Okay. I've, after a while or a few times of saving, it will show you a next screen. So, no, no, no big deal. Okay. So we are going to download it. Download it. Download for Windows. <coughs> so I've already one copy over here, right? So I'm not going to do it again. Okay, I'm going to install it. Okay. Okay. Next. Okay, you want it, you add it. Okay, you can take it or you can leave it. That's all right. Okay, it's very quick, it's very small, it's very light. Okay, finish. So you have to set it up for us to use the PHP for PHP development. Okay, so click and open it. And you have to install a package control controller uh, at, at, the, at the beginning of first installation you don't have this package control you have to use uh, tools I believe tools and somewhere to install the package control okay then only you can have this package control and then use this pa package control to install a package uh, we call it PHP syntax checker. This one, All right? So you have to check it, and you will install it for you, <clears throat> so that every time uh, we type uh, or, or we save the file, it will help us to check uh, the syntax whether our syntax is correct or not. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit troublesome for you to check through the files. Uh, especially when your file is getting bigger. All right. I don't know whether it's stored. Oh, okay. It's already installed. Okay. So uh, the uh, editor environment is already set up. 
so maybe we should show you i should show you where to find the files actually the where is the folder that we should put our file okay so uh, in last in my last lesson uh, i show you that <coughs> how, how you can install the uh, <coughs> web server so after installation of web server you should have a default home page it's like a home page right so it's located in c zam okay htdocs right this one htdocs this is the default folder our home page so we should create another folder maybe we call it a uh, uh, PHP example sorry PHP okay maybe inside <coughs> then inside this PHP folder is our uh, home page we call it home page right so we can create any any file or any uh, any file that we, we want so we, we can actually use sublime text to create file let's say so this is the first tag that we are going to use <coughs> I'm trying to save some files okay so you see all right exam htdocs okay and php and we save we try to save it index so the first files is always in index this is the default file that it will go through whenever we type in the browser let's say localhost slash php it will it will actually show this file okay save it okay Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, so, okay, we have to find the PHP uh, location. Okay, now that uh, we have written some simple uh, call to PHP, let us try out whether this editor works or not. So, we we will switch to this uh, browser and type localhost ph slash php it works it should show you the uh, uh, yes it's working so we are running php version 8.0.3 all right so these are the uh, php installation uh, information of our system okay all right uh, later on, I will show you how you can actually uh, add the uh, PHP syntax checker. So you have to stay until the end. I, it's not finished yet. All right. So I will show you how to do the settings, where to point uh, the PHP executable inside the uh, Sublime text, so that you can check the syntax during saving. All right. We'll come back later. To make the syntax checker works, okay, we have to set the uh, PHP executable into the system path. So to set this, you can uh, type env, okay, edit system environment variables, okay, click it, and you have to open the environment variable, and then select path, and then select edit. You have to add this folder csum php into the uh, path of the windows so that windows can find the php executable okay so whenever you uh, you edit the php file or you save the php file okay it will help you to check the syntax let's say the purposely Right. do some error on the uh, PHP file it will prompt you a pass, PHP pass error, syntax error unexpected token or something like that so you know that this this file will not run alright so you have to fix it before it, it can run and if syntax is correct then nothing happens okay alright that's all for today's lesson okay start from 
uh, tomorrow, I think, I will start to go through with you the, the language uh, features, what uh, PHP can offer you. Okay. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, smash the like button, share my video, and subscribe to my channel. All right. Turn on notification, please. All right. Thank you. See you again. Bye-bye.